Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. The three of cups, these people, they can't celebrate with you. So they're trying to hold on to you. If you're an earth angel, you're you're meant to go out and do things. These people want to keep you stuck in, in the dungeon of hell with them. And I feel like you've been going, you know, for like for visitation, like, hey, you know, you've been checking in. You've been trying to share your love, your light, your healing energy with these people. But if they don't want to go where you're going, then you have to leave them. It's like these people have have gotten the memo that visitation is going to be over. They know the date. They know the time. Visitation is over. You cannot keep going between heaven, earth and hell playing with these people. If they want to stay in hell, you have to leave them there and they know that. So these people now are trying to convince you that your healing isn't real. Your reality is false. And, and, and they're willing to do whatever it takes by any means necessary to try to get on your good side. These are false and fake apologies that you need to be mindful of. These people are posing as partners, as friends, as soulmates, good family members. But for some of you, you have to, again, be discerning because it's not that everyone around you is attacking you this is an energy and again that's why shadow work and healing is so important because if you have in your mind that you're going to constantly be attacked by people places things or situations it will manifest into that so for some of you um i said this in a reading a few days ago it's like if you associate love with fear or trauma when you get around people who genuinely care about you, before you know it, everything turns from sugar to shit. It's because your subconscious mind is telling you that you need to be afraid of that person. And this could be someone who really, really loves you, which is, again, you have to be discerning. You have to test the spirit. But there are some really, really tricky energies and spirits that's lurking around. So just be careful. So let's just hop into it. Six of Swords. The Justice is here. This It's like your challenging times are coming to an end. You know, I always say that the demons under your bed are going to scream the loudest when you turn the light on, right? Eight of, Pent Eight of Pentacles. Okay. It's like you've learned all that you can about a particular person, place, thing, or a situation. If you've been in a cycle, especially with someone for the last six to eight months, six to eight years, or however long here, um, this cycle is coming to a completion because you've learned everything that you can. It's like you're a subject matter expert in a situation now. Things are looking up for you. Okay, It's time for you to just have peace in your life. Okay, The Queen of Swords is here. Some people could be calling you judgmental. Um, they could say that you're cold. It's because you're mastering the law of detachment or that's what you need to do. You're seeing that even in these difficult situations, you know how to put your sword up, that sword of truth. You know how to draw the line and have boundaries here. Some of you could be very focused right now on your career, your stability, your finances. You could be going back to school. You know, you um, for some of you, you could be going to different conferences or seminars it's like you're finding ways to invest in yourself you're finding ways to date yourself you're seeing the silver lining like you can see that even in these really difficult situations that there's still something good that has happened to you some of you could have been recently divorced or you recently moved out of a home with someone you could have relocated or some of you could be thinking about relocating for work go for it Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Again, a lot about security and stability. Some of you have been working on something for a very long time. Some type of goal here. Like I said, you could be going back to school or starting a business. There's a lot of abundance that's coming in. And sometimes when we think about abundance, we quickly think about money. Okay. Sometimes God will, will bless you with wisdom, discernment, strength. You know, and that turns into favor that will pour into all areas of your life. A windfall of abundance is not just about money. When you align yourself a certain way energetically, going back to the mind operating off of confirmations, you can see that by mastering yourself, mastering how to have peace, even after being in situations where there's been plenty of broken pieces, 
there's still an opportunity for you that will bring about good fortune and abundance. So there is really no need for you to be stressed and overwhelmed at this time. You got to push through. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. You you definitely been dedicated to something and you need to protect whatever it is that you're working on. Whatever your plans are protected because the chariot is here. This self-mastery, this self-discovery here, um, whatever you're going to school to learn or whatever, you know, somebody here is learning something. It's leading to the chariot and the ace of wands. Yeah. So now you have the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands here. This is a new passionate beginning it's an opportunity but it comes after you just make the choice to be very bold and courageous you cannot be pessimistic in this in this season of your life you have to be very positive and optimistic and this is exactly why the enemy keeps trying to attack you some of you whatever you say that is positive you will have people around you who are automatically going to tell you no that's not the case if you say you're in love you you're going to have people around you to say no this just infatuation and sometimes it's, a, it's your own mind playing tricks on you to keep you stuck and blocked. If you say that, you know, everything is going well, you're going to have that friend or that family member that's still going to bring some type of drama to your doorstep. The, there's an energy that is amongst us that just wants people to let their guard down so that the enemy has more access. But do not be deceived because... Now is the time to take action. Three of pentacles here. This has a lot to do. So a bunch of cards just fell out. This has a lot to do with your work, your success here. Okay. But the five of cups is here. The five of cups is, of course, it's regret. It's it's some type of grief or disappointment um, that can turn into being resentful. That's what makes some people jealous and envious even if things don't work out in their life, then they become upset with people who are putting in the work and possibly experiencing favor in that season. We don't have favor in every single season of our lives. But somebody here is upset. Justice that it, it is being. Made known that you are a high priestess. And it's not so much that because, listen, everyone is not a high priestess. OK. The high priestess energy, though, is the fact that you have discovered yourself, your inner self. Somebody is upset about that fact alone, because once you come into that certain level of self-awareness and consciousness, the illusions that are being sent to you or created around you in your environment no longer can affect you the same. You'll start to listen to people and you'll know that person is lying. That's why people are doing mind control and domination spells and all of this other mess, especially around these moon cycles, because like the moon, they want to hide the truth. These people are very uh, afraid that you're going to shed old skin and old weight and, and you know, Get rid of these outdated beliefs and really see the truth because you're amongst a bunch of liars. Eight of Wands here. You have some type of um, intellect or intel that's coming in very quickly. You're seeing and understanding that some of you have recently, and I just talked about this, and I will say it even personally for myself. You have recently discovered how important it is to forgive. To forgive oneself as well as other people to start to see that everything truly does just happen for a reason. See the blessing in a lot of these test trials and tribulations. And this awareness alone is going to allow you to really move into a new positive beginning very, very rapidly. Some of you could definitely be traveling for work with this eight of wands being out here, or like I said, relocating for a job. I feel like you've been working really, really hard, like overworking yourself. This is coming to an end very soon. Ten of Wands is here. It's like spirit is coming in with something passionate as well as something stable and secure so that you have an opportunity to rest so that you can have more balance in your life so that you don't have to keep overworking yourself. 
The Queen of Pentacles is here with the Seven of Swords. Some of you could have a Queen of Pentacles around you. This could be someone that you work with, actually. Or just, I don't know, someone in your life that comes off like they're very generous and practical. This person could be hiding the fact that they're actually very materialistic, very possessive and bossy. Seven of Swords is here. This Queen of Pentacles is someone that is around you. And like I said, they they paint themselves to be humble and gracious and practical. But this person is greedy. This is the kind of person that, like I said, especially in business, financial matters, you have to be careful of a queen of pentacles who is carrying a seven of swords type of energy. This is the kind of person who can quickly become cutthroat. You need to be careful of this person because this is someone around you that's wanting you to lose something. This is the kind of person around you who will go and tell your business or tell your secrets or sabotage you. And I feel like this, this is someone who's very, very close to you. This person could even be in your family with the Ten of Cups here. Yeah. I just get this energy right now, too, where it's, it's extremely important to just be very mindful of what you share with people. Because everything good... If the enemy knows what your dreams are, it's, it's going to come in and somehow try to take it from you. You have the Ten of Cups with the Knight of Cups, though, and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of the good things that you've done, especially when it comes to your relationships and partnerships, is being returned to you. Okay. Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups here. Some of you, you do have like um, a romantic partner that's coming towards you. This could be something that st starts out pretty slow and steady. The Knight of Cups to me is someone who is, you know, doesn't necessarily have to be young, but it's not a major offer. But this is something that could be slow and steady. It can turn into, you know, a commitment, a marriage, um, a very just loving type of relationship. This could even be the return of a family member for some of you. It doesn't always have to be romantic. This could just be a soulmate, somebody that's coming in to return some of your good karma to you. Page of Cups. Transformation. Yeah, so there's a person coming into your life who most likely, wow. So this is a second reading today where the Emperor and the Empress have come out together. So maybe this is where all of the, the hatred is coming from because there's a union that's happening here. Somebody is going into a union, just seriously. This is the second reading today where the emperor and the empress have come out. I have not touched this deck in over three months. And you saw me shuffle and shuffle and shuffle. There's a union happening here. This is why the, the devil is so mad. This is a past life type of connection here, possibly twin flames or something here. There's a rebirth or a transformation here. And this connection is causing a major upheaval. For everyone who has tried to work against it. The hermit card is here. I don't know. This could be two people who have been in separation. This could be someone you haven't even met before. So you've been physically separated, but energetically connected. This journey has taught someone a lot about just self-discovery. The page of cups here, it's like. Again, this is the reason for all of the hatred. Because someone here is becoming open to love. New emotional experiences. If you're asked to go out somewhere, you know, you could meet someone. You could just randomly meet a person somewhere. And this could turn out to be like the love of your life. Someone is very stressed out about this, though. Nine of swords. Yeah. You have someone here that possibly delayed a union with you. But I don't think that they were your person anyway, or they just decided not to get on the path with you. You have a real union coming in now, though, with the four of wands. And someone is very, very 
um, shaken and stirred right now about the fact that you you see the light. You're seeing things totally differently and someone else is too. Yeah, you have the four of wands here with the four of cups. Don't let a magical opportunity miss pass you because there is manipulation here. Yeah, you have to be very assertive right now to work through a lot of the mind games because the ten of swords here and the three of swords... And I said this, there is a spiritual attack happening right now, which is to be expected with, you know, new moons and full moons or whatever. There is a spiritual attack happening right now, and it's attacking the mind to cause interference and, and friction and confusion and to make you think about heartbreak. You're going to have to really, really be mentally tough right now. Have compassion and forgiveness. You know, some of these people that are doing this... You just have to ask God to have some kind of mercy on their soul because the things that are going to happen to them for for all of the things that they've done is going to be just completely awful. Hopefully you're off living your your life, but it's still it's just some people they they refuse to to change or to heal. And I say have grace and mercy because some people what's really unfortunate is that they don't recognize that they need to heal. So they're just lost. But it's like you've already experienced a lot of personal growth from your heartache and your pain. This cycle in your life is over. Like there's a huge weight being lifted off your shoulders. You're freeing yourself from these toxic codependent connections because, and this had to happen, this tower moment that's happening right now, because yeah, you do. You have a, a very beautiful connection that's coming in for you. Someone that's, you know, dependable. The Page of Pentacles is here. So it's like, yeah, you're going to receive good news. And I feel like you've been juggling, you know, dealing with this imbalance in your life for a long time. Not being able to really prioritize certain things. Or it's like, you know, if, if money is good, love isn't. Or, or vice versa. Or running across people who want to juggle you or just whatever it is something here is being balanced out what's going on in this this new connections four of swords healing you have a new connection coming in and it'll come to you when you're at peace that's the reason why people don't want you to be at peace <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Here's the Nine of Cups and the Four of Swords. When you least expect it, maybe when you're traveling, because there's a lot of cards out here that speak about traveling. Maybe once you relocate or, or you're just in a peaceful state. Some of you, once you learn to meditate, you just cleanse and clear your mind and your energy and you improve your overall aura. Someone is going to quickly come towards you with some type of offer. And this is the kind of person here who is a leader. Knight of Wands here. They're passionate about their pursuit. They're a visionary. You have to be at a state, though, of not being worried about this. King of Cups here. This could be someone who's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or... Wow. The Death card. King of Cups and the Death... Both of these cards, to me, are Scorpio. So somebody, you could be meeting a person who is like, they have Scorpio somewhere heavily aspected in their, their chart. This could also be the type of person too, who is very mysterious. They could have a lot of raw thoughts, feelings, and emotions about you that they don't really share. But this type of person, what I'm picking up here is that this is the kind of person who's going to transform the way that you see life and love and how you express yourself. This is the type of person that I'm hearing is going to be able to love you without you putting everything out on front street. Because they're not coming in to manipulate you. You're going to be at peace in this situation. And that's what a lot of you need after everything you've gone through. You need to be 
able to just be at peace. For some of you, you like I said, you really may meet this person. A water is here in a boat on vacation, or this may be someone that you enjoy vacationing with. Okay. This person could have air and water in their chart. And I'm getting for some of you, I feel like there's a lot of Scorpios who are watching this reading, but because we're in Scorpio season, a lot of people are just kind of embodying their energy anyway. Something about this connection is going to be transformative. It's going to cause you to go through like a death and rebirth process in yourself where maybe you're finally going to just like let your hair down. Do some things that you don't normally do. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles here. I'm definitely seeing um, a very fun, flirty type of energy here. Knight of Pentacles is like starting over. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is someone who is can be a messenger, but I, I see you guys like just having fun. Like you, I'm, I don't know why I'm seeing somebody like go to a carnival or hanging out. Like it's a refresh. It's a reset, a restart. This, what this is, is this is a love that's coming in that's a vibrational match for this new energy that you're in or stepping into. So everything is going to be brand new. You're going to find yourself being interested in doing things that you don't typically do after going through a very painful ending. Some of you are going through divorces, okay? And this is the reason why you're still juggling here. You could still kind of be dealing with some heartache and pain about a situation that has had to end, or maybe this person is even, but this is someone here who's going to want to really fight through this. Or it's the type of person who's going to have um, a very clear understanding about your life and what you've gone through because maybe they've gone through the same thing. It's a lot of um, compassion here. I'm hearing you get to rest easy. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it's been a lot of juggling here. You could have been, you know, in a situation where there's been a lot of trauma around juggling and third party situations and just heartbreak or someone just a lot of lies and interference here there's a new situation that's coming in ace of wands six of swords definitely movement or travel here six of cups it's like you're moving away from the past but some of you i mean you could be moving forward with someone from the past taking how it resonates but you're moving on a peaceful calm and waters with the four of swords the six of swords this is resting, it's retreating, it's becoming rejuvenated again. This passionate new beginning is going to make you feel almost childlike. With the Four of Swords being here on top of the Six of Cups as well, I feel like for some of you, if you have not taken time to rest, to retreat, maybe even to travel, maybe you need to. There could be something from your past or your childhood that you're needing to heal. Um, the Four of Swords here, this could be something that causes a little bit of... um like light like depression or anxiety for you but you have this king of cups with the six of swords like this type of love or, or this connection with this person is going to take you to a place of being at peace and very calm there's an ending here and a new beginning that's going to lead to something very passionate but again it's like juggling i'm seeing where some of you it's so cute some of you are going to be up late at night like you're going to really be trying to juggle a new connection and your daily life because it's going to feel so new. It's it's not just a new connection. It's a new feeling. It's something you're not accustomed to. This is going into a time where you're, you're going to be able to enjoy like a healthy, happy, harmonious type of love. The things that you normally prioritize, you're going to be with someone who's you're you're going to want to prioritize this person because they prioritize you. Look at how beautiful that is the star. So this could be someone who's, you know, spiritual um, like you or they're into the same things. They believe in faded connections or whatever. Um, some of you, you could meet this person like at the gym. They may encourage you to go to the gym to work out with the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands here. Strength card and the judgment. I don't know why some of you, you feel like someone may judge you in a harsh manner because of your appearance or your children. But a lot of you, you're very, very strong, strong Leo energy here. You're really, really strong. 
and you could have children, you could have gone through a divorce or something like that. There's this energy coming in of someone who is truly going to just love you and they're going to know right away. This is a faded type of meeting or connection here with the judgment card. The judgment to me, though, again, it just seems like it's something that you're needing to look over. It's a new direction. Something about this connection, it may remind you of something from the past, but this is the reason why you need to heal and have compassion for the past so that you can actually embrace this connection. Because for some of you, this connection is, is your two of cups. It's a two of cups connection that you're manifesting, but you have this toxicity, this devil that's lurking in the background. Yeah, the devil is standing in between the two of cups and the ace of pentacles. So the offer that you really, really want that you've been manifesting and praying for is here. But you have the devil that's lurking over it. Some of you, the devil is your fear around love. Some of you, the devil is an actual person. But look, you have here the ace of pentacles and the ace of swords here together. And the six of pentacles. So spirit is saying, yes, this is a sure thing. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is something brand new. It's everything that you imagined. Six of Pentacles and it's equal give and take. Whatever they have, they're going to share with you. This person is going to be able to read you and you're going to read them. There's a psychic, um, spiritual connection between you and this person. Knight of Wands. So this person may come in quickly. Wow, the Knight of Wands is here in the world. Some of you really may meet this person traveling. Or one of you or both of you travel a lot for work. This could be a long distance relationship. Hmm. Yeah, there's love here though. You and this person could have different backgrounds. You could be from two totally different places. Could be an age difference. Um, culturally, background, something here may be different. You and this person are drawn together, though. This person may be like your, your total opposite. But you complement one another very well. The five of wands and the five of swords is here. A lot of conflict, chaos, competition, drama, envy, and other things here that may seem to be projected towards this type of co this connection. But these are a lot of things happening outside of you. I feel like someone here wants to have victory and success at making an offer to you, being with you. But this person is someone who could have recently gotten out of a serious relationship or they could have been terminated from a job um they could have custody issues okay they could have a person from their past is just bitter angry that could be a, a lover a family member somebody here is going through some type of ending and it seems like this is a faded connection where someone literally they may meet you just like i said at a chance as a, a chance meeting maybe on a trip or you could be on a business trip and meet this person but this looks like something as soon as you and this person kind of meet under these weird circumstances it turns into the ten of cups this also could be someone that's already watching you the page of swords is here with the hermit card and the ten of pentacles so someone could be watching you they may have options now this could even be someone that is around you and you know that they have options or they know you have options. This could be someone that you, you kind of like or you've expressed interest in before, but you kind of keep yourself grounded and you come off as very practical, you know, girl next door, boy next door kind of energy. But this person keeps their eye on you. And I feel like this person is seeing you grow and mature or you're watching this person. Someone could have known that perhaps you come out of like a bad situation or you know this about somebody and you like them or they like you, but you're just not ready to, to take action right now. But we have three tens here. So again, this Scorpio energy is bringing about a major ending and a new beginning. Someone in here is leaving something behind or is healing after a major ending, whether it's a, an ending in family and their career, um, financial loss. You know, we're all adults here. Things happen. People suffer losses in the family. There's a lot here around family, around finances, um, connections and commitments. But at the center of it is still it's a, the Ten of Cups. This is having a very happy, 
peaceful life with a person. And then the Ten of Pentacles, meaning this is something that can turn legacy is long term. You you have an opportunity to have the financial stability, the security, as well as the happiness. But this does come with something ending here. Somebody may have to end having several options. I just get the feeling that the fact that someone is choosing to go in a connection with you or you choosing to go in a connection with somebody, it's just causing a lot of drama. Wow, temperance is here. Mm. Yeah, so listen, like I said, this is this is this is why the hate is so real. Because there is absolutely a beautiful family coming together here. This could be someone that you know. It could be someone new. You could have kids. They could have kids. You may not have kids. You may not want to have kids. But it looks, I'm, in both of these photos, there's a child here. Some of you, you're, you're meant to have at least one child with this person. It could be a girl. It could be a boy. But someone, I feel like this person, when they see you, they, they just see the future. For some of you, this is someone who is hiding this from you, though. If it's someone that you know, they're hiding this from you. Like, they haven't come right out and just said, you know, they, like, you're the one. <laughs> um, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, wait a minute before I pull those. Let's see. Something here you need to go slow. I feel like someone is for sure healing. And I feel like someone here has PTSD from like a past relationship. And this is also like that devilish energy here where some someone here, this could be you or your person or both of you, have gone through like a painful ending, whether it was with a lover or family, friends or whatever. And you kind of have like PTSD here where you're very, very afraid to be hurt. But the thing about it is when you choose to have this type of love here, when you give a person the power to truly, truly love you in giving that power away, you're also giving someone the power to destroy you. And a lot of people, everyone wants love. Everyone deserves love. So there's always a risk. And this is the problem. A lot of people are afraid to take the risk because of what they've already been through. So don't miss out on a magical opportunity because of what you've already been through with someone. And give grace to a person that you may meet who also has this issue. I know as women, women don't always take into account the fact that some men are hurt. They're wounded and they're abused in relationships as well. And they may not be that quick to be open emotionally. Not every person is just being emo emotionally unavailable because they're narcissistic. Some people are emotionally unavailable because they've been abused by a narcissist. And that could be a male or a female. And that type of abuse doesn't only have to come from a lover. It can come from a, a, anyone. It could come from you working with an extreme narcissist. It can come from parents. But it, it can be traumatizing for some people. So for some of you, you could have been dealing with someone or you're dealing with someone who they come off like they're unavailable. Like I said, they're emotionally unavailable. And if that's the case, then that's OK. So this person may not be able to give you everything that you deserve right now. And a part of the reason could be because they're going through some type of divorce or some type of ending or separation. I'm hearing job separation as well. People get laid off. You know, we're all, like I said, we're all adults here that we have real life issues that happen. But time alone or in nature will help you to recharge. So for some of you, there could be a separation. And that happens when you think about having a life with a person. You have to, like I said before, there's going to be job loss. There's going to be health issues. There's going to be deaths in the family. Things happen. Some of you, though, you have a situation in your life or coming into your life. And I'm telling you, it's not going to be all just peaches and cream. You may run into some type of issue or obstacle that may challenge you. So if it's worth it, fight for it. Don't just assume that this person is just like the last person that you were with. 
and you may have to if the shoe is on the other foot you may have to try to advise this person that you're not like the last person that they were with because there's some um, there's fear here someone is afraid that someone won't be able to give them what they want but look at this <laughs> this relationship is moving towards a sacred union wow one person is giving too much in this relationship here and now. Your true love is already a part of your life. This could be someone in your life right now who's just a friend or someone that you just recently met, you know. They may not be available to give you what you want right now. And you may feel like this is causing some type of instability. Maybe you're giving too much and, and you know, hurt people, hurt people. They're not able to receive what you're giving right now because they're just maybe they're just not ready. You know, so if there has to be a separation, that's, that's okay. When it says this relationship can stand the test of time. I just want to say this. Um, Self-care is here, children and boundaries. This friendship is leading to more, okay? Some of you, you know, a person may have issues with their children right now and they're trying to establish boundaries with a person that they have children with some of you you need to have boundaries with someone especially if it's like a friendship type of situation um if one of you or both of you is acting childish you also want to make sure that this situation aligns with your morals and values um strictly sexual is here don't get yourself caught up in a situation where you possibly end up having children or doing things that are childish because you know you don't have boundaries just make sure that you're doing things right now that you know are in alignment with your higher self and your your goals. But I just want to say that, you know, I just started posting after not being on the channel for three months. And the energy that I'm picking up on in just the last two or three days of posting is that a lot of people, you have several people in your energy. There's an energy that's jumping around. It's like. You have this really, really good energy here, but it's very challenging and confusing because you're being triggered by a past energy as well as things in your own subconscious mind. Because it's like it's something here that's really, really good, but you will miss this opportunity because something about it seems very similar to a situation that you've been in that was really bad. And what that means is that there is something here that you're still clearing out. You can have a soulmate come into your life and, and you're absolutely supposed to be with that person. And there could still be some type of karmic lesson that you have to learn in the time that you are with that person. And I, I don't think that a lot of people talk about that. People think that once they do the healing work and they let go of one toxic situation that, you know, you're just going to go into perfect relationships. And that's not true. Nothing is going to be perfect. You just become more aware of how to deal with the imperfections. Something here is, is good. It's not perfect because it's not meant to be. But by working through this situation, you will be able to see that maybe you give too much. You know. Maybe you'll notice that you're afraid of love. You know, it, it's it's those types of issues here. But it's a, a situation where it's two people where the attraction and the chemistry is mutual. It's shared between both people, but the two of you both need support. This doesn't feel like codependency to me. It just feels like growing pains, like learning how to communicate. Yeah, this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. This friendship is leading to more. So, you know, this, this could be like a, a friend. Whatever the situation is, it has potential. But before you get to the serious, serious, sacred part of this connection, you're being taught a lesson about self-care, self-preservation. This isn't a connection where you need to go in and being selfless and not having boundaries. This person is here. It, it can be slow and steady. Allow it to unfold naturally and there be stability here. So it's like you're being you're being taught in a way how to have a healthy relationship.
sexual healing. <laughs> attraction. So <laughs> very strong attraction between you and this person. Mm. So some of you could be dealing with somebody. And I wanted to say this earlier because um, that friendship card. Can, this could be like a friends with benefit situation for some of you. Some of you, that's the, the case, and this person, they can't give you anything more than that. And you need to see that for what it is. For some of you, it could be a friends with benefits, sexual type of connection, and there is a lot of sexual healing here. You and this person are very drawn to each other. Your sexual chemistry comes from the spiritual connection that you have. But this connection will take time to develop and go into something more serious. So for some of you, yeah, there's a, a tricky energy here. It could be strictly sexual and you know it's nothing more. So don't try to make it something more. But for some of you, you have a person that comes into your life or they're in your life. They want stability and security with you and for this to move towards marriage. But right now. The two of you are in a phase of clearing out some karmic debts, perhaps, where there is a strong attraction and sex could be involved, but it's for healing. Hmm. Ooh, spiritual awakening. Wow, this is very, very intense. Oh, I just I just felt that like this is intense. Because for some of you, what I'm getting here just right away, you thought that you were with your twin. Mm -mm. You have a person coming into your life or is in your life. You're going to almost spiral out of control because this is taking you on like a, a new wave of your spiritual awakening this connection is very important and even if you don't end up with this person they're meant to teach you that this person is meant to teach you how to let go to be in this playful like energy that you're supposed to learn how to let your hair down and just be how to have fun and recapture romance in your life this even this sexual healing this person may find you very attractive or you find this person to be really attractive. This playful energy is going to reawaken and ignite something in you that was imbalanced before because maybe you were lacking intimacy. This is this see, this is tricky and confusing, though, because someone here may use. Sex is the way that they communicate. And because of your experiences in the past, for some, you may look and say that this person, you know, they just want to hit it and quit it. And there is nothing here when in actuality, this person wants deeper intimacy with you. But how they express things is different. Somebody here may um, be wanting to abstain from sex. It may be very hard with this person. It, or I don't know, maybe through sex, it's like this. Something is going to be awakened. Some of you really thought that maybe somebody was your twin flame. And I don't know, it's something about the inner energy and the connection with someone in your life. This is going to make you quickly realize that you were in some type of illusion about another person. Now, for some of you, you could meet, you could keep meeting people and you're just recognizing that there is somebody from your past, whatever you felt with that person, it's never just, it's just never going to go away. I don't want to, I don't want to bash a past person or a new person. It's the energy. It, it doesn't matter if they're here and now or it's from the past. You'll know by the energy. You'll know how it it feels for you. 
Ooh, this is um, intense to say the least. <laughs> this is coming in for some of you very soon. And I also feel too, uh, I don't know if for some of you, you've already met this person or if you're going to meet this person very soon after you meet this person. Wow, I just had a full vision. Very soon after you meet this person, you're going to go into a spiritual awakening or they are. And I feel like everything is going to, there's this energy of everything becoming very chaotic. I'm literally also seeing too, where for some of you, you can meet someone through work or at an event. Um, holiday parties are coming up soon, or even like on a quick trip, you could meet someone and they could be separated or just on a break from a person that they are in a relationship with or that they live with or that they are married to. If you and this person through some type of playful moment and for some of you, even after some type of sexual encounter, everything is going to blow up from that point on because it's something about your energy with this person that is going to lead to this profound like spiritual awakening. There's some type of magnetic attraction here. This is definitely someone from a past life. It has to be. This person's soul recognizes yours. And I feel like very soon after you have these playful moments or whatever, this could even be a situation where a person, like they get scared and they ghost you or you get scared and you ghost this person. But it's like everything is going to change. It's like through this connection and honestly, even through like, for some, you know, because I know some people are abstaining from sex. That's your, that's your business for everyone, depending on your, your walk of life. But through some type of intimacy here or some moment or experience, it's like someone is going to automatically recognize who you are. It has to be like past life. Butterfly. I'm telling you, butterflies. And here is magnetic souls. Yeah. The law of attraction. It's like you and this person, this is someone in your life. It's like two peas in a pod. Like, I feel like it's that love hate kind of relationship. Someone here is going to be upset that perhaps they can't be with you the way that they want because of these endings and, and these transitions and the transformation that's taking place in your life or in their life. But it's like the sexual healing and the butterflies and the attraction. It's like you call this person in. They called you in. Like they're your perfect match, but they're so different from you. But the spiritual awakening, whatever you go through, is going to show you that you and this person are drawn to each other no matter what. And very soon after having these experiences, you and this person are going to recognize that you're life partners. So I, I can't say if this is a twin flame or if it's a soulmate. Life partnership. This is somebody that you can do life with. It doesn't matter the title. This is someone who is a vibrational man. You've called this person in. That you've been calling your soulmate in. And the playfulness here and annoyance is just like you and this person. <laughs> you may get annoyed with each other because it's like they're going to know you so well, I feel. You're going to know them. There's, you can't hide with this person. I think that the um, the type of vulnerability here is going to put you in a different state of mind because you haven't experienced that in a long time. So this is somebody who's coming in and they're like, hey, I, I want to be your, your, your homie, lover, friend. And for you, it's like, that may be difficult or for this person take it how it resonates or for both of you wow i'm gonna pull out the little heart cards and close this out but this type of this beautiful connection for some of you is the reason why you're experiencing so many attacks you have your twin flames and beloved when i cut the deck though we may be physically apart spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing wow so for some of you, you know this person, but you're separated. For some of you, you've energetically connected with this person. Um, but maybe you haven't met them or you haven't seen this person in a really, really long time. It's something like that. 
you may meet this person when you look at that i cut the i shuffle the card so for some of you maybe this is a twin flame that you're meeting or reconnecting with wow It says emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. See, see, I'm telling you, that's why I said when you judge and assess your past, be forgiving and show compassion to that person and yourself. Hurt people, hurt people. If you're going through a divorce or whatever the case may be, you're going to have to move forward with, with some grace and have mercy for yourself and that person and if you meet a person that has gone through something like that you're going to have to show them a bit of compassion because emo these types of emotions that are going to come up during these types of you know situations and even after can make you feel like something is bad when it's actually good for you so i'm saying that devil that live, lives in your mind it's not just people around you it can be your own thoughts. Some of you, as soon as you start to feel butterflies for somebody, before you know it, you're scared. That's the enemy attacking you, trying to make you stay stuck in, in the past. You have fair power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So don't be afraid to get to know a person. Don't be afraid to have fun. Okay. Don't be afraid to take a risk. You stay in your power. Does it align with your higher self and your integrity? You can say no at any time. You can get started in a situation and it can be passionate. And if it doesn't work for you, you just walk away. That's you really being in your own power. You don't have to wait for somebody to do something for you or to make a decision for your life. It says, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. And here is forgiveness. Yeah. So for some of you, you definitely could meet like an actual twin flame and you both may be projecting some type of pain onto one another. It's a twin soul. You both share the same wounds in some way. Forgiveness, though, and then embrace. And it says only time will tell. So time will tell what's going to happen in this connection. It says through each other, you find the missing pieces. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. Yeah. So like I said, for some of you, this is a situation where something is going to be really good. And if you're not careful, you're going to talk yourself out of it and say it's too good to be true because this may be your first time in like experiencing this type of love. But what I want to remind you of is that if you have been doing the work to heal, you have to know the real true love is what you're going to attract. You're not the person that you were before who just wanted love, but you were embodying a codependent type of wound that was attracting you to just narcissists. You're, uh, you're actually, if doing the work, you're going to attract people who are healthy, who are happy. I'm not saying that their life is perfect. But at least, like, they're a vibrational match for you. The type of person who doesn't come in with the actual goal <laughs> or the plan to just hurt you. Some of you have, have run across people in the past and that was their goal. Their goal was to hurt you. Th that was the goal from the very beginning of meeting you. So they quickly try to love bomb you. You have something coming in now. For some of you, it looks like love bombing because a person really is into you. For some of you, but please be discerning. Because of course, when you get something beautiful like this, you will be tested. Hmm. I like it. <laughs> it looks good. It looks really good. Again, just be discerning. There's a test here. New levels, new devils. Just like I said, just don't fall into self-sabotage. Because I'm hearing something like this is just too good to be true. <laughs> 
But some of you, you're really meeting your, your actual twin. It says, look for a sign and wait. It's like the divine is letting you know, like, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll guide you. Time will tell, you know. Ask your angels. Yeah, you're being asked right now to tap in with your higher self, with God and your angels. Look for a sign. Don't look at everything as a sign. Sometimes a sign is telling you to run away and you're running towards something. <laughs> Listen to your intuition. Yeah, oh man. There's a strong, strong message here of you being discerning. And then you have a year from now. So I feel like, again, something here is going to be slow and steady. It's going to be a huge turnaround within the next by the next year but something is quickly changing within the next few weeks you may meet this person in the next few weeks or some of you you really may get that new job or relocate or something like that in the next few weeks with abundance being here no need to worry someone also could take a financial hit in the next few weeks because they're going through some type of ending relocating um even going through a divorce or something like something here needs to be balanced out with someone's stability and security in their finances. But spirit is saying there's no need to worry. It's, it's like God is saying, I'm going to provide you with what you need, but there, there is a storm coming, but this storm here that's coming is going to shake someone's foundation and allow everything to, to be able to fall in place. Yeah. Something isn't the right time just yet, but it's saying to remain positive. Yeah, something here just has to be cleared out. Choose a new direction and yes. I feel like for some of you that may be holding on to someone, you're being told you need to choose a new direction. Be open to something new. Be, be discerning, but I really do feel here for some of you, either you have convinced yourself that someone was not your twin and you're going to go out in the world and experience new things. You're like, oh, wow, maybe I really was with the person that I was supposed to be with. For some of you, though, it's like you're going to meet someone and you're going to realize, wow, um, the person that I thought was my person was really just a past life karmic soulmate who was my catalyst preparing me for this type of energy.